Prince William trade in his current Range Rover SUV for a 2018 model, His Royal Highness will find a host of minor technology changes, new equipment, and tweaks to the exterior design even if the big Range Rover S water waiting, rock crawling, air cushion persona is unchanged. Appearance-wise, this is essentially the same swept-back box that debuted for 2013. This is how Land Rover design chief Jerry McGovern summed up his job, don't key change it, just make it better. Up front, a new grille design, LED headlights, and a restyled hood effect mild makeover with influences from the new Range Rover dealer. A revised lower bumper feeds more air to the front brakes, which allowed engineers to spec new hardware that produces less dust, that should keep the six new aluminum wheel designs looking cleaner for longer. Wide exhaust outlets and new LED taillights round out the exterior changes. Inside, the Range Rover gains a reconfigured 12.0-inch instrument cluster with more customizable displays, as well as the Wheeler S Touch Pro Duo infotainment system that features two 10.0-inch touchscreens on the center stack, with the bottom screen controlling climate, seating, vehicle settings, and terrain response modes. The upper unit, which has a traditional home screen with navigation and audio controls, can be physically tilted to alleviate glare. Swiping a finger can even send information from one screen onto the other. A 10.0-inch wide head-up display projects clearer, high-res images on the windshield. A couple of knobs remain, though most dashboard and steering wheel buttons have been replaced by touch capacitive sensors. Drivers can wave a hand by the rear view mirror to open and close the mesh sunroof shade. Based on how gimmicky hand motions get in the BMW 5 and 7 series sedans, we are glad that this is the only gesture function available. You will need to place a finger on a screen to power fold the rear seats when you re away from the hatch area either the one in the dash or the one on the in-control remote phone app. Speaking of seats, they re even kinglier than before. A 5-mode massage including simulated hot stones is baked into thicker, wider backrests. All armrests are heated, and on long wheelbase models with rear executive class seating, so are the calf and footrests. The seat controls, with up to 24-way movement, shift to the door panels, which can be trimmed with one of four new veneers. Land Rover replaced the Autobiography S4 seat configuration and fixed rear center console with a power folding rear armrest that features a power extended section for revealing the cup holders. LED ambient lighting divides the ceiling, doors, and footwells into three separate zones. 4G LTE Wi-Fi connectivity, larger cubbies, air ionization, and an improved refrigerator to rapid cool for 16.9 ounce bottles to 41 degrees Fahrenheit are also on board. Thicker window glass better insulates occupants from the world outside. All the expected safety technologies are here, too, along with some unexpected ones such as blind spot alerts when rear passengers exit the vehicle. The major powertrain update 1T come until 2019, when the Range Rover P400e plug-in hybrid joins the lineup, alongside a plug-in hybrid version of the Range Rover Sport. For 2018 only the 5.0-liter supercharged V8 sees any noteworthy change, gaining 8 horsepower, for a total of 518, in supercharged and autobiography models and 7 horsepower to 557, in the SV Autobiography Dynamic. The turbo diesel 3.0-liter V6 with 254 horsepower and 442 pounds to foot returns on SE and HSE trims, while the supercharged gasoline 3.0-liter V6 comes in either 340 or 380 horsepower strengths. A revised two-speed transfer case and low traction launch system complement the Rover's hefty off-road credentials. Prices rise modestly, although that shouldn't concern the majority of Range Rover owners. The Bass 2018 SE model starts at $88,345, while the HSE is $95,045. The diesel TD6 adds $2,000 to either trim and brings with it an estimated 658-mile cruising range. It's impossible to grab a V8 for less than $105,000.
the top SV autobiography dynamic is almost fully loaded at $178,195, although it is easy to approach $200,000 when indulging in optional paints, wheels, and a $2,040 carbon fiber engine cover. Deliveries commence next summer, so there is still time for HRH Prince William to figure out exactly which model he'll choose.